Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Decadent Dark Chocolate Ale from Atwater Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Decadent Dark Chocolate Ale. Uh, this is a dark ale. 5% ABV, 11 IBUs. That is what is on the actual bottle. I'm guessing a six pack is $9.99 because I know I didn't pay $9.99 for a single. <clears throat> um, typical Atwater label. It's it's kind of got a two-toned or something like that um, guy on it. It almost looks like, I'm guessing it's kind of referring to Willy Wonka. Even though the guy doesn't look like him, it does have a chocolate bar by his side that looks like a Wonka bar. Um, malt beverage with chocolate is all it says. Pairs well with chocolate, or pairs with chocolate lovers, smooth lovers, and go-getters. So really nothing about the beer. I did not see a date on this beer. I did pick this up uh, when we did our donut beer pairing. I thought this would go well with one of them, and Jessica said no, so I kept it. If we look at the head, it is a tannish head small bubbles about a quarter finger of head from what i can see the bubbles are like just soap they're compacted together but really no head at all if we look at the color it is dark amber color uh, i can't see through it i do have a lighter hue at the bottom not on the sides at all let's go ahead and get a smell Kind of like a sweet chocolate. There is a little bit of roasted malt, but like a sweet chocolate is pretty much it. It's definitely not a baker's chocolate. I was trying to think of what kind of chocolate it is. It's like a sweet chocolate. Maybe if you got like a Hershey's Kiss or a Hershey's Bar and melted it. Uh, maybe like if you were going to put it on s'mores and you roasted the marshmallow, then you put some of the Hershey's chocolate on there. And after you start eating it, that chocolate melts. That's kind of what it is. It's more of a Hershey's chocolate than like a baker's chocolate. Let's go ahead and get a taste. Very light, almost like a watery chocolate, sweet, semi-sweet chocolate is what I get. Semi-sweet chocolate, as it warms up in your mouth, it does start turning into more of a sweeter chocolate. Yeah, you are getting a little bit of that roasted malt in there in the back as it goes down. No bitterness. To me, if you know somebody that does like chocolate and is getting into craft beers, this could be a good one. It's not, that chocolate's not overpowered. There's no bitterness. It's nice. It's light. It's smooth. When it goes down, then, like I said, once your mouth warms up, it gets more of a chocolate and then it's pretty much gone. Um, there is a little bit of darker malt kind of residue that I'm getting in my mouth in the aftertaste. Overall, not a bad beer. I would probably go 3.75 out of 5. The chocolate is nice to have even on a summer day. I think as it warms up, obviously that chocolate level is probably going to go up. But it's, to me, it, it's not a exciting beer. It's almost like two row 
some chocolate malt, maybe a little bit of roasted malt. There you go. Um, this is almost something I would think a home brewer would make, not a brewery. I, I would have thought they would have put a little bit more. I would like to see the body thicker because you are getting that chocolate and usually chocolate is thick. I would like to see that thicker. Let's look on untap. So I have had this two times, which I didn't even look at this before. Um, I did give it a 3.75. Uh, 24 of my friends have had this average 3.66 out of five. Excuse me. Um, 38,000 people have had this average 3.84 out of five. So I'm a little bit above my friends, a little bit under the rest of the world. Kevin did, did give it a 4.25. Uh, Paul gave it a 3. Let's see what else we can see here real quick. 3.75. Mike gave it a 4. So yeah, not a bad beer. Uh, like I said before, if you if you have somebody that does like chocolate and they're starting to get into homebrew, I mean homebrew, uh, craft beers, this could be a good one just because it's not going to wreck your palate. It's not going to be bitter. Uh, the aftertaste isn't that bad at all. So this might be one that you want to push them towards. So that'll wrap up this beer review. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>